So this is on some general guidance in reading the Harbors and Navigation Code. California statutes are contained in 29 separate codes and the 14th alphabetically is the Harbors and Navigation Code. All 29 of the codes have general provisions that are applicable to reading and interpreting that code sections. The following are some of the selected general provisions of the Harbors and Navigation Code. Section one says that the act is known as the Harbor and Navigation Code. Section two says the provisions of this code insofar as they're substantially the same as existing statutory provisions relating to the same subject matter are to be construed as restatements and continuations and not as new enactments. Section five that says that unless the provision or the context otherwise requires, that definitions, rules of construction, and general provisions govern the construction of the Harbors and Navigation Code. Section six says that division, part, chapter, article, and section headings do not in any manner affect the scope, meaning, or intent of the provisions of this code. Section seven states that whenever a power is granted to a public officer or a duty is imposed upon that public officer, then the power may be exercised or the duty may be performed by a deputy of the officer. Section eight says that writing includes any form of recorded message that's capable of comprehension by ordinary visual means. Section nine states that whenever reference is made to any portion of the harbors and navigation code, that all amendments and additions uh, are applied by that reference as well. Section 11 says that the present tense includes the past and future tenses, and the future tense includes the present. Section 12 says that the masculine gender includes the feminine and neuter. Section 12.2 defines the term spouse to include a registered domestic partner. Section 13 specifies that the singular number includes the plural and the plural the singular. Section uh, 16 states that the term shall is mandatory and the word may is permissive. Section 17 says that the term oath includes affirmation. And finally, section 25 says that if any provision of the Harbors and Navigation Code is held invalid, then the remainder of the code is not affected by that invalidity.